Hey friends, today we're talking about pink. And it's one of my favorite colors, so I wore my little pink outfit for this episode. And we're gonna start right here with some of my favorite colors. Now this is called a petunia. And there's a lot of peas that I'm gonna be saying. And you'll hear some birds, they're, they're very chatty. I think they're hawks or something, you'll hear them. But anyway, back to the petunia. Now the petunia is an annual, so they look really great for the summer season, right? And then they're gone after that, after that summer. So you might as well, if you're gonna put them in a pot, enjoy them, but once they start dying out, you'll just have to end to say goodbye to them and buy new ones the next year. So these are my petunias, my pink petunias. We're gonna walk right on over here and you're going to see, these are not pink, but they're really cool. We'll talk about them on another episode. These are the moon flowers that we grew back here. So they're starting to open up, they'll open up at night. But as we go right over here, these are called a begonia. And a begonia is actually an annual also. And they're starting to get a little leggy, we call them, and they're growing. So at the end of this season, very soon, I'm gonna be throwing these away too and getting new ones next year. But the begonias attract the bees, so they had a wonderful time this year. Then we're gonna scoot on down over here, way over here in the corner. This is the first time that I've ever planted this one. And this is called a Hawaiian punch hibiscus. And she's so beautiful. And there's a few more coming. And there's a few that have been nibbled by the deer. But there's a few more flowers that's gonna pop out. This is a perennial. So we're gonna leave her in the ground and keep her nice and cozy and comfy here. And next year she'll blossom even just a little bigger. But right over here by the hibiscus, this is called a pentas. Now in warmer climates, a pentas would be a perennial, but in the cooler, colder winter months, it'll die out, so it's gonna be an annual. But the deer do not like pentas, P-E-N-T-A-S, but all of our little nature lovers love the color and they go to the pentas. So we'll scoot on down here on my knees. These are also the petunias that are dying out. They have a little life left, but they're, they're not gonna make it much longer. And right here is a new sprouting and buds. This is called Phlox, P-H-L-O-X. And all these little colors are gonna pop out some new ones. This, the Phlox, is a perennial. It's so wonderful having your garden because they come back every year and they're so pretty, so you don't have to worry about them. Once again, we have more Pentas here, and then we have some begonias, and then we have Pentas down here. But right in front of my little flowers, this is a very simple bird bath, and I had bought online a simple little uh, fountain, one of those solar fountains, and it continues to circulate the water. So I see a lot of little, um, actually, butterflies back here, and I see a lot of birds. So friends, this was just a quick walk into my little pink garden, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time, and I love you.